terrorists. I've said that they are a terrorist organization, that we should not negotiate with them. I know what you're thinking, as soon as you hear that word as a Muslim, it's like, yo, can't play no games with the terrorists. We don't either negotiate or uh, make exchanges or pay ransoms. Yeah, anytime a Muslim's interviewed on television, you got to condemn these terrorists. Yeah, what about those people that support these terrorists? You got to always oppose the terrorists, not state terrorism. Yeah, which is clearly taking more lives than any other form of terrorism. The most dangerous kind, the insidious kind of terrorism that lurks behind the shadows. I think I've made my point when I say terrorism is no joke. But this only applies if A, you're a Muslim, B, you call it. Otherwise, if you're white, these rules don't apply. And let's have a look at this story, yeah? This just came out today. I saw it on Sky News. So you got this Satanist slash neo-Nazi. You know, I'm saying he's he's got the best of both worlds. And he downloaded 11 terrorist manuals. However, he was spared jail because, and I quote, he could get straight A's in his A-levels. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's unpack this, yeah? Firstly, he could get straight A's, not that he has. There's that potential, yeah? Well, you could go to the moon tonight. I mean, who knows? We could solve world peace in the next 30 seconds. <laughs> who knows, mate? Boris Johnson could decide to comb his hair. I mean, I, uh, okay, okay, I know I'm going too far. I, I apologize for that last one, yeah? So this guy is being spared being thrown in jail because he could get these grades, yeah? Whilst on the other hand, an 11-year-old Muslim child gets referred to prevent just because the teacher misunderstands him when he says that he would like to give alms to charity. Maybe you're thinking of one off incident, calm down you curry munching baby. All right, all right. It's not, <laughs> it's not the only one. You had a four year old Muslim child who got referred to prevent because he drew a cucumber. <gasps> oh my good lord, a cucumber. Those savages, the barb the barbarians, lock them all up. But I want to finish my colouring in. Can I at least finish? That's it, you curry munching brownie. But, but here comes he's drawing a swastika over there. Hey, he could be president of Zimbabwe one day. But his name's Larry, and his mum's name's Dave. Get to prevent, mate. Go on, sling your rock. Secondly, he downloaded 11, count 11, terrorist manuals. I mean, one, I can understand it's a misclick, yeah? Oh, my finger slipped. But how does your finger slip 11 times? This guy seems to have a lot of information about terrorism. And how does your finger slip 11 times? I don't care if you're the Queen of England, mate. If you're looking at terrorist manuals, that's a problem right here. And this guy's getting the okay just because he might get a couple of A grades if he's lucky. <laughs> what happens if you let him out and he gets like fails or D's? Oh, uh, you little scallywag. Go on, sling your rook. <laughs> yeah, don't look, you've blown up that place. Just don't blow up that. Uh and number three, sending him back to school with impressionable kids that go there knowing that he's going to be intellectually superior to them so god knows what on earth he's going to be teaching them or telling them i mean is, is this what the uk has come to i mean what does the prime minister have to say about this make me sick how embarrassing Never mind, a guy who can't even open an umbrella properly or use a comb, how on earth is he going to look after a nation? And you know what guys, this isn't the only time that something like this has happened. Here's when a white drug dealer got let off because he impressed the judges with his spelling and grammar during his druggy texts. Here's when another white guy got let off and this time for rape because he told the judge, yo, 
I mean, she looked over 16, mate. And what do you expect? Whilst if that was you on me, we'd end up on the front page and our entire communities would have to stand in front of the camera in a line one by one condemning this. The judge goes, you know what? Yeah, that's, that's true, mate. And then he gets let off. I mean, who can blame him? Maybe after they went to the same pedo party. That's tough for a lot. <laughs> so in conclusion, if you're white, and intelligent, terrorism doesn't exist. Do whatever the hell you want. And if you're not white or Muslim, forget you being a terrorist or not being a terrorist. Your children will be hounded in the schools, slung into prevent just to keep you in line. Yeah, just so you don't start rebelling or doing any funny business. Yeah, toe the line. That's right, and be grateful. <laughs> And the next time somebody comes and tries to pin you down with these labels of terrorism and you know the hijab and you know freedom of speech tell them to shut their mouths yeah and make sure you know some of these hypocrisies so you can shut them up it's bad enough that we're being treated like this yeah and we're victims but on top of that academically if you cannot challenge such people shame on you mate shame on you if you want to stay plugged into the matrix just so you can enjoy another glance at the girl in the red dress then yes stay plugged in enjoy your cake enjoy your pathetic existence however if stuff like this is waking you up then use your intellect not only awareness choose a career choose your education carefully and use it to help people yeah like Muhammad Akunji helped that Syrian kid sue Tommy Robinson. Tommy Robinson is now bankrupt mate. Yeah, kudos to that lawyer mate. All right guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.